Gordon raced toward Maithwaite ahead of Spencer. Spencer was out of puff. Percy's mail cars rattled and rattled behind him. I won. I told you I would. Before Spencer could ease his axles, the door of the express swung open. The Duke and Duchess of Boxford stepped out. They were cross. Fumbling fenders. Spencer, you have let us down. We left you in charge of our summer house. And it's not ready for our holiday. Our friend Sir Topham Hatt says you spend all day watching Thomas. And taking mail cars that aren't yours. You told me you would take them back to Percy. And you haven't. Spencer's pride was in pieces. They, they have a very old engine. A, a heap of scrap, in fact. I was chasing it because, in fact, Sir Topham, you should... Please, Spencer, stop. Chasing engines that are a heap of scrap? We'll have to send you back to the mainland, it's quite clear. You're not fit to work. Please, may I help? I could work with Spencer at the summer house. I'm sure together we could have it ready in time. The Duke and Duchess were delighted. Thank you, Thomas. That is most kind of you. Please keep an eye on Spencer. He's clearly not feeling well. Spencer wished steam. It was all too terrible.